Blast away at the show, baby. Kim, check them out. Come on, boom. Get the guy like that's what I'm talking about. I mean, we got a couple in our sight. Light them up. Oh, beyond yeah, God. Like, oh, my gosh. This week is going ham out here. Let's see if we can find our next target. This guy looks like a juicy target over here. Oh, man, he goes in the fight. Light him up in his fight. Living legend. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, light up in fight. Titan. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, we're going to go up to this guy over here. Hit him with that airstrike. Moving on in. Bop, bop, bop. Let's hit him with our reachability, too. Get him real close. Light him up with those shotguns. Bop, 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 bop. Beyond God. Like, oh, my gosh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we've got a blast from the past. We're running an old school hangar, getting back to basics, having some fun, and I've been absolutely loving this thing. But today we're specifically going to be going over the top builds for Leech and whether or not they can compete against the current meta. We're in a very strict meta currently, where if you're not running certain builds, certain bots, you are going to be in for some trouble. But fear not, guys. I got some tips, tricks, tactics, and setups that are going to help you counter the meta with the good old leech. So number three, our number three setup is going to be the Venom Leech. So we've got three Venoms on here two nuclear amps a repair amp we're going to be using advanced repair unit we've got the isabella porter pilot on here uh we've got adamant roadhog armor expert roadhog adamant guardian sharpshooter dodger and foolhardy quartermaster um, i've got the sharpshooter on there for the mace so you could swap this out for something else if you're not using mace but that's what i like to run if i'm using the mace and then for our drone we're going to be rocking the Nebula drone on here. This is the preferred drone for that setup. So the Venom Leech build is actually really good once you get the nuclear amplifier charged up. But before that time, you're going to find that it's very weak. So I highly recommend to play cautious to fill that nuclear amplifier up. After you get it filled up, you could be a bit more aggressive. But until then, you're going to have to play it smart. That's why I like the defensive drone on this setup. Um, it doesn't pack a huge punch like the other ones where you could rely more on the damage output. So you have to be smart, you have to be defensive until you get that nuclear amplifier charged up. And after you do, you can see right here, we are just shemelting people down. We get the quick godlike right there in a hurry. Man, this thing is a ton of fun. Um, I know this is a bad position, but I'm just pushing right now to try to make something happen. I get taken out. Now we're here on Shenzhen, we got another little clip. We had a camper up top on the roof with his smutas and Raz doors and whatever else he had, his bendy gear, and we just had to take him down because he was driving us nuts. I really found so much pleasure in playing non-meta stuff. It actually raises your skills, so you don't have to depend on that meta gear. All that meta gear does is just allow you to make more mistakes and not have to pay for it. Um, with these older setups, older robots, you have to make each decision matter. You have to make each advance, each push, each ability. You have to use it to its maximum potential or else you're going to get smoked out here on the battlefield. It's not just simple, easy peasy, easy mode to run this stuff. Uh, but if you can get it to work, it's a ton of fun. Look at this, a puncher behemoth, the toughest, one of the toughest bots in the game. For sure the highest damage output this thing is absolutely insane especially this close and look what's happening right here we're brawling down a puncher behemoth this is the most feared setup in the game right now and we're brawling it down man boom taking them down like it's nothing big respect to this build this build is very very underrated these weapons are kind of underrated in a way that they're not great until they nuclear amps filled up then you can see their full potential they actually feel like a completely different weapon set once that nuclear amplifier gets healed up here we are fighting this typhon he's got a really tough aegis on him we're doing our best to try to take him out of there so close so close wait for that reload here we go lighten him up oh man buddy steals the kill but he's dead that's all that matters trying to get some damage on this dude at center beacon Oh, we're going to throw the leech on him. We're getting hit by the blindies from back range. We're going to back on up to minimize the angles of attack our reds have on us. And boom, we get him down. Number two setup is going to be the Havoc Leech. Um, identical setup. 
identical everything identical drone that thing is an absolute monster it destroys quick fast it it's so so lethal Ooh, here's a quick little segment i'm gonna go after this capri one of the most op meta setups in the game and this titan the charanga tank locking onto that charanga tank we're leeching onto him right now blasting away we do have that isabella porter pilot so we're reflecting back way more damage than we will with the timus mind read the only problem with that is you take on a lot more damage too but it works out now we're dropping in with the Kepri on Moon. This is a super, super fun sequence. You guys saw this in the intro. Trying to take this Kepri down. Boom, we get the kill. Very, very nice. Are they going to drop somebody in? Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. We got a Fenrir, one of the toughest meta tanks in the game right now. This thing is super tanky, super tough. Let's see what we can do with this guy here. Waiting for my ability to come back linking onto him getting up in his face we're gonna start blasting away at him right now boom 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 look at the damage he's taking on right now look at the damage we're gonna hit our heel to survive through this so we give him a couple more bops and boom double kill we just took out a full hp fenrir right there oh my gosh and a triple kill let's drop this mothership on us get a little bit of a heal a little bit of a shield and them defense points let's get up in here see if we can take out another fenrir yes we get the rumpage 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 we're getting lit up from the sky let's try to get to cover so this guy can't take us out from above we're on a nice little streak and we got our nuclear amp filled up same thing with the venoms once you get the nuclear amp filled up with this setup man you are going to be doing colossal colossal amounts of damage Let's see, lighten up this Minos. Boom, taking him out with a couple shots like it was nothing. All right, we got some opponents over here. Let's cap this beacon really quickly. Drop that mothership. Maybe we can get that gravity amp amplified on him. Blasting through his shield. Let's wait. Let's get up in his face so we'll make sure our shots hit. Boom, boom, boom. Beyond godlike. Oh, my gosh. This leech is going ham sandwich out here on the battlefield. Uh, this is an extremely, extremely effective setup. Most of you guys probably have Havocs in your hangar. This is an old, these are older weapons. So I'm sure a lot of you guys who have been playing have these laying around in your hangar. They work tremendously. They work tremendously. I'm absolutely in love with the Havoc Leech setup. It is so, so good. It takes down Kepriers, Prepries, Revenants, Fenrirs, Titans, whatever you can get 200 meters close to, it's taken out and it's taken them out quick, guys. Let's see if we can get some more damage on this Titan up here. Oh man, oh man, we got a Fafnosaurus coming after us now. Oh man, and we get taken down. And now on for our number one leech build. It's going to be the Mace Leech. Now this one I run a little bit differently. On this one, I have one nuclear amp and two repair amplifiers. And then for our skills on this one, I have the Thomas Mind Read. I'm using Dodger, Armor Expert, Mechanic, Roadhog, Sharpshooter, Adamant Roadhog, and Foolhardy Quartermaster. Um, actually, I could swap that mechanic out for Adamant Guardian or something like that. And then this one, the drone's going to be different. This one, we're using an offensive drone. We've got two repair amps to compensate so we could run more offense for our drone. Um, we're going to be using two on damage dealt damage chips, one on repair unit defense, and one on mild damage absorber. Without further ado, let's hop on right into this gameplay so we can see this bam, mamma, jamma take down the meta. All right, guys, here we are dropping in with the Mace Leech. This is by far my favorite setup of them all. This thing is very lethal, especially once you get those nuclear amplifiers charged up. You're going to be dealing a massive, massive amount of damage. The one major thing you need to take into account is the reload time. There is a five second reload time. So I like to be near a piece of cover that I could duck back behind and wait out that, um, that reload timer. Or I like to have my heal ready, just like I did right there, to pop when I get in situations. You want to save your heal, if you can, for when your ability's on cooldown. That's going to be when you're at your most vulnerable. 
but as you can see right here you could take on pretty much any robot in the game with this setup and it definitely takes people by surprise uh, people don't really give the leech the respect that it deserves since it's an older robot but don't get it twisted guys this thing is extremely extremely lethal as you saw by the clips um, I actually do have a list of honorable mention weapon setups that I will show you after this little segment here. Let's see if we can get some damage on this guy. And just like I talked about, going behind cover again once I'm on that reload. You always want to be using your cover to your advantage. This goes with this setup and any setup. Using the cover. Oh my gosh, we just took out a full HP Kepri in the blink of an eye the blink of an eye <laughs> oh my gosh all right we got a shell and something else here at center let's focus on this shell first see if we can finish him off i'm pretty sure we used his shields there we charge up our nuclear amp we are on a god like we've got another kepri right here blasting away oh my gosh we just melted that kepri one magazine what in the world man holy cow all right let's go on for our next target we got this guy over there he's about to go in the flight he goes, but I'm going to re... Oh, my gosh! Living legend! We leached onto him when we blasted straight through his reflector shield. Can we get this guy, too? He's dropping down. Oh, man, he goes up in the sky for another flight. I lose sight of him. Oh, man, what a fun run with that mace leech. This thing is not to be played with, guys. Um, If you guys could please drop a like, and if you are new, please consider subscribing. I leveled up this frozen leech and the Isabella Porter pilot specifically for this video to showcase to you guys. Um, So, you know, I'm using my own resources on my own account to do this. This isn't a battle wreck account or anything. This is my own personal, personal account. I appreciate you guys so much. We've been having so much amazing, amazing support lately. Um, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for that. And shout out again to the Reddit community. Shout out to Shiva's Wrath um, asking me and allowing me to do this video to showcase on the Reddit. Oh, man. We missed that kill, but we did most of the damage. Let me tell you that chasing this little mender bender around the corner come on baby can we take him out so close so close oh man we're stuck on our reload cycle right now <laughs> using this little piece of cover to our advantage wait for the opportune moment to strike unfortunately the demeter shield absorbed some of the damage but it ran out and we absolutely annihilated him let's see if we can get this orochi skidochi back here link leeching on to him really quickly waiting for his ability to run out and then we're gonna light him up oh my gosh he had another ability come on baby can we get him pop 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 triple kill that's what i'm talking about this thing is extremely fun extremely strong it can compete against old robots it can compete against new meta robots it can compete against anything if you play this thing properly you can find great success with it this really is one of my favorite, favorite old robots. Ooh, nice. We get the Rampage. And overall, the Isabella Porter pilot is nice, but she doesn't have as much resistance if you were to use the Thomas Mind Read or any other pilot. She does reflect a lot more, but she also takes on more damage too. Um, so I think Thomas Mind Read is a great option, but you could even run an Adrian Chong on there. You could run the Peregrine Rain if you're going to be using Scorchers and stuff like that. Um, oh, I just wanted to include this little segment because I'm going to show you guys how one little Hellburner can outplay a Blinding Miramets and a Puncher Orochi. This is actually crazy. Watch this, guys. All right, I'm going behind cover here going out to this beacon luckily this guy's being a little chicken and not staying on his beacon so let's see if we can light him up a little bit there we're using our healing with our shield we're gonna back on up we successfully captured the beacon so i'm gonna use this little piece of cover while i can all right trying to see what these guys are gonna do let's see if we can get a little damage and drop his shield nice we're able to drop the shield from the mirror mats Let's do a little corner shooting here with the Hellburner, see if we get some damage on him. All right, Miramets goes into flight. We're going to use our cover again. Orochi's coming out, trying to get his puncher shots on me. We're going to use this time to try to lock him down. Yes, we're able to. Let's see if we get these flames on him and take him out. 
Oh, man, we weren't able to finish him off with the flames. Can we get him with the punchers? Come on, baby. Yes, we get the kill. All right, now it's time to focus on the mirror mets. What you want to do when you're fighting these mirror mets is you want to run around them and mess up their targeting so it's harder for them to hit you. We're going to start dashing left and right once we get our ability activated again to try to make him miss those shots and lose his lock. Boom! We get the Titan Slayer, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm saying. Running these older bots will improve your skills. All right, this is another matchup. We got the Frozen Leech here. We're playing against some really strong meta players. Let's see if what we could do with this thing. We've got two Kepris moving over to that left-hand side. It seems like one has Cudgels and the other has Cramolas. Trying to light this Titan up that's on this pedestal over here. We did a great amount of damage to him, but we didn't get the kill since we were on our reload. We've got that Cramola Kepri over there trying to light us up from around the corner. Coming in from behind this dude, taking him down quick. Let's see if we can cap this beacon right now. We've got a couple of our teammates here with us. What the heck? Why isn't it turning? There must be someone on the beacon somewhere with us. All right, let's see if we can get this shell. The shell's jumping all over. Oh, my gosh. We actually just annihilated that shell. Let's see what we can do with this Revenant, one of the toughest tanks in the game. He's got a meta setup on there, hammer cudgel, nothing to be played with. Waiting for our reload, coming back in with the heal. We're going to get up in his face, trying to take him down. Oh, my gosh. He teleported. Let's put the leech ability on him and shoot him. Let's see if we can take him out of there. Rumpage, Rumpage, Rumpage. The leech is going off, man. All right. This is against a full squad on Abyss. A full squad against nothing but randoms right now. We're going after a Kepri. Blasting away at this sucker. Oh, my gosh. We one magged him. We one magged him. Holy cow, we absolutely destroyed him. We got another Kepri coming through a teleporter on us. Boom, we take him down too. Jeez, Louise Papa Cheese. All right, let's drop an airstrike over there. Let's see if we can continue this carnage, baby. They had us in a spawn raid. I just broke out of a spawn raid right now, and I'm trying to do some good damage on these guys while we can, while the beacon bar is still there. Oh, man, we got this dude jumping up in our face right now. We've got a... Oh my gosh, we are getting focused up by everything right now. <laughs> we, it was a good effort, though. All right, guys, so here are the honorable mentions for other Leech builds. Leech Razdor, Leech Scorcher, Leech Pulsar, Punisher T for a budget build, and Igniters. They all do extremely, extremely well. Also, I didn't want to make like a long, long, long extensive list. I did the top three, but those are definitely honorable mentions. This is going to be the last game we're going to play here, and I'm going to play it through its entirety so you can see me play all the different old robots. I wish I could have played more games, but I didn't want the video to be extremely long. I had some incredible matches. I've been playing this hangar for a day, and I had at least 10 matches where I scored over 10 million. I think the most I scored was 12.9, but I'm telling you guys, you can run a hangar with old robots and still be successful in this game yes i'm using metal weapons for some of them but some of them aren't and you know it is what it is man i really challenge all the maxed out players out there to put down all the maxed out uh capris and sirens and bendies and behemoths and all that stuff and try running some other things i understand running you know the meta hangers and squads and everything like that but if you're out there playing solo man give it a try what's the worst that can happen i'm showing you right here that you guys could have a ton of fun be super successful and also do mass amounts of damage and dominate matches with older robots man this is where i get my most joy i get really really bored of you know running max meta hanger all the time yeah it's fun but it gets old quick you know what i'm saying Oh man, we got a showdown here with this shell. That guy blew, blasted me all the way back to the home spawn. That was actually pretty funny. I was jabbing my gums. I didn't get a chance to comment on that, but <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw it. All right, we're capping this beacon right now with our teammate Revenant. We're going to go up this ramp and try to get center back. Doing some damage on this guy over here so we can get this home beacon back we don't want him to take our home beacon oh man he just did let's get in his face like a can of maze blasting away with the maces oh baby baby doing some work triple kill on that revenant we took that revenant full hp revenant mind you out with no problem with this mace leech 
We got another Revenant teleporting in on us. Let's see what we can do with this guy, too. Oh, my. We just one magged him. We just one magged him. Rampage. One mag for the Rampage. I'm telling you guys. I, I don't lie to you guys. I keep it 100 all the time. This setup is actually good. I'm sure we're going to start seeing some more leeches out on the battlefield after I post this video. It, honestly, dude, it's fun. This thing is fun. We are on a godlike man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They just dropped in a luchador at center. This is no bueno. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. We took away more than half of his HP with one magazine. Jeez. If I had a little more room to back up, man, we could have finished him off. Holy cow. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's drop in the old Falcone. And this ain't no traditionalist Falcone. This ain't no chicken traditionalist Falcone. This is the original Falcone. If you guys want to see me make a video on the original Falcone, let me know down in the comments section. I actually started it last week, but I got busy with work. So I didn't uh, continue with it. But this is why I had it in my hanger. And I just left it there. Ooh, trying to target this Titan at center. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, backing on up, backing on up. I was trying to jump out of the radius of that airstrike. Focusing on this Ming. Can we take him out? Oh man, this guy's pretty tanky. What's going on with him? I wonder if he had some Nodens healing or some Kepri healing because he definitely felt tankier than usual. We were able to liberate and capture that beacon. Let's see what we could do right now. This Falcon is a ton of fun, man. If you guys never played the regular Falcon, I'm telling you, test it out. It is a ton of fun. I love it with the hammer. I love it with the puncher. There's a few other setups that I do enjoy, too. I can show you guys. Oh, my gosh. We get the Titan Slayer and the double kill. We are doing some work out here with this old Falcone. This thing is so much more fun than the born traditional. The traditionalist one is so boring to me. You got one weapon. All you do is just sit there and be somebody's punching bag. That ain't me, brother. That ain't me at all. Look at what we're doing to this Arturo. Full HP Arturo taken down in two mags. You know me, man. I like to go out there. I like to brawl it out. I like to bang it out. I like to have some fun. I don't like being nobody's punching bag. I like to do the punching. Now we're going to drop in with this Hellburn and try to get some beacons back. I was up over in their spawn causing a ruckus. I have no idea what my teammates were doing. They gave up all the beacons. So this is going to be very, very spicy. We got somebody underneath there and the Luchador just jumped. So I know he can't jump again. So I'm going to go over here and take this beacon since this will be an easier capture. Then from here, we're going to try to finesse move and work some other beacons to get back control of this map. The map got a little out of control, but we can turn this around pretty quickly. We got our flank back. All we need to do is get home and center, and then we're good as gold. From there, you can control the map much easier since they'll be spawning only in front of you. Right now, they could be spawning at any point in the map, and that's where trouble starts. It starts when you let them take your home, then they're going to be able to take your flank and I'm sure they already have center when they're doing all that. So now, next thing you know, you're five capped. We're going to drop in with the Looch, jump onto our flank, and try to defend, kill these guys, and take back our flank beacon. Oh, man, successful landing over here. We got a couple Titans, a couple robots. This is where the action's at. Luckily, we were able to turn it white, so we stopped the, the bleeding of the beacon bar. Dropping our North Light Mothership on us, blasting away at this Looch door underneath us. Very nice. He's out of there. All right, trying to decide now, do I jump to center or do I focus on that Titan on the left, this Arthur? I w I'm starting to make my move towards center, but I'm thinking I need to take that Titan out because if we just give him free reign to put free damage on us, um, that's when trouble can arise. So let's hop on over here. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, there's a tornado going on right now in Chicago. Um, sorry about that. All right, dropping down here, blasting away at the Arturo, getting that good damage on him melting them down dropping the north light on us getting another titan slayer we are slaying titans left right and center right now we've got a rampage let's keep on pushing and see what else we could do what a fun fun match man what a fun fun matchup all right i'm gonna try to take a dive over towards their home beacon let's see if we can blast this guy first before we go over there because i don't trust my teammates oh nice he's going under his home this is good for us let's take a push See if you get burnt up this Kepri. Doing some damage to these guys. Let's go over here. Ba -ba 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 
landed in on this dude we're getting hit with the mother strike so we're going to counter with our own for the healing there we go completely countered their airstrike that's when i like to save them too for instances like that it completely nullifies theirs and makes it like it never happened oh my gosh double kill we're melting guys from down below this guy's trying to get up in our face is he got oh my gosh he's got a lead shout out to this guy he knows what's up triple kill and that is the match ladies and gentlemen please if you're new don't forget to subscribe and if you've been here for a while hit that like and drop a comment it definitely helps a small channel like mine reach out to audiences who have yet to find the channel almost 10 million damage 15 kills eight beacons we had some good randos on our team as well appreciate you guys so much hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back